That's potential. <laughs> okay, I'm doing my uh, presentation on why Clayton Kershaw is the best pitcher in the MLB right now. Right now, you got me? You yeah, like that? Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's see if I got this organized right. Intros in the front. Let's get it. All right. This is perfect time for my speech because it's baseball season. Just started. Clayton Kershaw had a pretty good game. His opening game, I think seven innings, I think pitch. Shut out. It's pretty neat. Okay. All right. Clayton Kershaw has been one of the best pitchers in 2011. He had a rough, rough uh, couple of years in the beginning. But since 2011, all these stats are from baseball reference. I didn't make these up or anything. So. He was uh, well. He was drafted in the first round and was picked number seven. It's pretty good. He was the youngest player in the majors to make his debut in 2008 at 20 years old. Uh, he's a pretty big guy. He's 6'4", 225 pounds, lefty. Uh, he uh, again, like I said, he had a shaky two years, but on his third year, he started pitching really well. And since 2009, he has uh, had an earned run average of below three, which is really good. I don't know much about baseball. Um, okay. So, okay. Okay, since 2011, Clayton Kershaw has become one of the best pitchers in the major leagues. He's won three shining awards in his nine year spans of pitching. He's an, he has uh, incredible pitches and knows how to mix it up to keep out his guessing. I don't know if it works. Down, down, down. down. Okay, well. Those are obviously his, I think, 2014. Here and he played really well. Pretty interesting. I have a little video I want to show you. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I don't want to watch a minute 29 of it. Oh, God. All right. Forgive me. It's just him pitching, of course. You can see all the different pitches. Pretty good. And that's his curveball. Oh, it's it's cool. All the curves. Yeah. It's a streaker. I mean, that's his killer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Dodger fan, so. Uh, Are you? This guy makes me happy. Mm. <laughs> that's good. Okay, that's enough of that. Getting excited. Uh, <laughs> Clayton is in the top five in almost every pitching category in the major leagues. And he's been there since 2011. He's a stud. He's um, being a left-handed strikeout pitcher and playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Kershaw is often compared to Sandy Koufax, if you know who that is. Pretty good guy, too. Um, he became the first pitcher in the history to lead MLB and ERA for four consecutive years. When he did so in 2011, to, he did it through 2011 to 2014. He's a good year. He's not a playoff pitcher, though. Uh, he started in the playoffs, but that's okay. His best year as a major leaguer was definitely 2014. Um, in 2014, he played. Tw he pitched 21 games. He only lost three. He had a earned run average of under two, which is incredible. And he also won the Cy Young Award that year and that MVP. So that's pretty good. Close this bad boy out. Conclusion. Clayton Kershaw is definitely a top five pitcher since 2011, and he's put up a couple of numbers. And as, a, as a big Dodger fan, I hope to see him continue to see him do some good work. Thank you. <laughs> we'll tell you in a minute what we thought. <laughs> you get the nice, thank you very much. Personal roasting I got. It's gonna be roast. That's <laughs> nice. I love a good roast. That's not good. Good kid. Good kid. I should have stuck the dollar sheep. Yeah, rewriting it.
12 in the morning, bro, isn't a good idea. <laughs> That's off. Huh? That's better than my first speech. I'd hope so. <laughs> Alejandro, what did you think? Uh, nice the, the public speech was pretty good, but again, he liked the tension device, so he didn't grab into the speech. He also read too much out of his notes, which it looked like he had it all written down on it. I did. And, and he, doesn't ex he doesn't really explain why he is the best. Again, with the, the video and the stat, uh, slide, it doesn't explain how, how good he is. It just shows his, his accomplishments and his best pitch. And then, um, Interesting. yeah, just be short. Oh, yeah, uh, thank you, man. Very nice. Yeah, be taller. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to agree with him about the attention device. You just kind of, you know, drop in on the topic, and you need to plan that a little bit better. Uh, you've got a natural here that you could do. You make a reference to the game that he pitched on opening day, and talk about how successful he was there, and point out that said, you know, it looks like the 2016 campaign will be a repeat of his prior successes the last three years. Blah 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 blah. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, Clayton Kershaw, who I think is the uh, best uh, pitcher in baseball right now. Uh, you don't want to turn it into a persuasive presentation, but I know that you want to make the point that you think he is the best. There's nothing wrong with including that. But now the question becomes, so what is it that makes him the best? Why is he distinctive? Why has he been successful? What, what kind of explains that? And I don't... I don't know that we get as much explanation on those things as would be interesting, to, especially to a baseball fan. You kind of give us the career highlights. It's the, you know, I think I said it the other day, we're getting the back of the baseball card kind of information on, on, on the speech. You know, we're getting the career highlights. We got his uh, victories and we've got his accomplishments and we've got his awards and uh, we got his ERA and all that kind of stuff. And that's not unimportant information, but it's, like I said, it's just something that we could have gotten from an infographic or a baseball card. We need to get something more out of the presentation, and that's what you're supposed to be adding. There's not really a structure for the presentation. It just feels like it's random data about Clayton Kershaw, which, you know, it, there's good data, and there's a lot of stuff that's very impressive, but you ought to be building a case if you think he's the best player. Now, it sounds like you're trying to do it as a chronological presentation because you do make a reference to when he started and you're talking about um, you know, and, it, and you also mentioned what's going on currently because you got that example about the last game that he pitched here but it's not that's not the pattern that you're using it's just information that you're presenting that is time based but it's not organized by time so if, if there's a if, the, if you wanted to organize it chronologically why don't you just say, I want to talk about his, uh, the, the three formative years in his career. You know, the, the, the first year where he had limited success, his peak year where he was the, well, I don't want to say that, but, you know, he was the top dog, you know. I was going to use another term, but that would not be appropriate. Uh, you know, and, and, then, um, and then maybe talk about anticipating what's coming up here and, and why there's a hope for the Dodgers because he continues to be on the team, something like that. Then you'd have a chronological structure. You could still drop all that other information into the speech, but it would be going someplace as opposed to just being random data. Uh, the visuals are nice and large, but there's a lot of information on a couple of those infographics, and uh, you never really pull anything out and emphasize that particular point. I, I like the idea, for instance, about how important his ERA is and how it's so different. The comparison to Sandy Koufax, I think, is an interesting one. But, you know, I mean, you kind of say, if you know who he is, and maybe one or two of us in here know who he is, and I'm going, well, why are you talking about this if you're not going to, you know, Sandy Koufax may have been the greatest pitcher in Dodger history, and he had a shortened career, but, you know, and, but that's one of the reasons that he was so impressive, what he accomplished. And Clayton Kershaw is doing those same kinds of things, pitching at the same level as somebody who was often considered the greatest pitcher in Dodger history. So you got to be, you know, sell this point and make the idea. It, it feels like it's very loosely put together uh, and, it, like I said, random data, and you needed to work a little bit harder on putting some of that material together. All right, thank you.